All right, he used to punt with the Giants, and now he's sitting with Duca Siglione. All-round great guy, Steve Weatherford. Welcome back. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate that. You may Thank notice you. his suit's a little tighter. What? It's a, it's a little bit more snug. <laughs> I'll look at just that in a second. Hey, the draft starts tomorrow night. Both the Jets and the Giants uh, have needs here. Uh, the Giants set to pick at number 10 overall. The Jets 20th. You're the perfect person to bring in. You play for both these teams. You spend training camp with the Giants. Jets, you spend a game with. Uh, Giants, um, what do they need at number 10? Steve Weatherford, who are you picking? Well, you know, they spent $200 million in free agency mm -hmm. all on defense, and so I think they kind of need to shift their focus uh, and continue continue to find people to aid um, in the performance of Eli Manning and protect him. And I think um, they are going to be going for a left tackle to replace Will Beatty um, to protect that blind Jack side. Jack Conklin is a guy. Yeah, I like. think Conklin's probably best available. And so if he'll slip down to 10, I think that's a no-brainer for the Giants. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, uh, you know, that situation there, uh, unsolved. So Jets at 20, you like a quarterback. And now Sam Bradford's available, too, because he's requesting Ooh. a trade. So there's a lot of things that are up in the air. Um, but if I'm the Jets moving forward, looking at the future, uh, you want to have Fitzpatrick are taking snaps for yeah. you this season, uh, but I think you need something for the years to come. Right. And I, so I think they're going to go um, with the quarterback, and I think if he's available at the 20th pick, I think Paxton Lynch is uh, is a good pick. Six foot seven, 245 pounds, out of Memphis. Hey Steve, 10 years in the NFL, obviously saw a lot. You played major college football. I actually covered one of your games. <laughs> I had a lot of punts that you game too. You had a lot of punts. <laughs> you guys got beat 73 to three in that game by Penn State. Um, but you know, obviously locker rooms, it's the heat of the moment. Yesterday there was a situation in the New York Rangers locker room. Uh, Dan Boyle went at it with Larry Brooks of the New York Post. It was the final um, uh, media session of the year. Take a listen to this. Respect you. Just so you know, at least I'm leaving here with the respect of my teammates. It's that somebody like you that tries to bury somebody. That's all you do. It's not a critique, but I'm just telling you I don't want you here. I have no respect for you. I want you to get out. All right, so you hear Dan Boyle getting upset and losing it on a reporter there. Has that situation, have you ever gotten testy with a reporter? Uh, no, and you know what? One of the reasons what was is because um, the entire time that I was with the New York Giants, we had a very good uh, public relations sure, director, the, Peter John Baptiste. Now backs. Corey Rush uh, does a very good yeah. job for the team. DeAndre's and, great. And, yes, and they give you a good 10, 15 minutes after practice and after games to kind of but cool you, down but, but you, and prepare yourself for the questions. Because when you play in a game, Duke, Nine times out of ten, if not every single time, you are going to know the questions that are coming. Right, but but you do read things, and things get under your skin once oh, in a while. Oh, 100%. Like, if the... And it's weird because now I'm on the kind of the other side of the chalk line in the media asking the questions. And, and I can see how that happens. But with me, um, I've seen teammates get upset, but it's always because it's heat of the moment. Yeah. And they're emotional uh, and they're passionate about what they're doing. I want to thank you the other day. I can't move my arms, can't brush my <laughs> teeth or comb my hair because you put me through this workout well, yesterday. Well, if you get through that and for about And you're doing some, uh, some, uh, some stuff with some underwear hair. Look, uh, we're good friends, but I don't know. I don't, I don't dude, know, dude man. listen, man. You put you put these on. Don't you, don't you want to have my last name on your thigh? <laughs> uh, no, I'm I'm super. <laughs> Kill me, come on. I'm super excited. Um, those are uh, Tommy John is actually an underwear company that I've started to work with, uh, who has been very very supportive of my philanthropic efforts. And for, so for the next month, um, my favorite underwear. They are donating um, proceeds to my charitable foundation, which leads me uh, to the reason that I came in today to talk about my NFL draft party uh, that's tomorrow night at Rock and Riley's. Um, super, super excited about it because all of the proceeds go to my foundation that go to support different initiatives that I do in the area, like Project Prom. So We went last year. Great party. Rosanna, I think you might be able to make it this year again. You went I, last you know, year. I always support packed. whatever you're doing because you're Standing very philanthropic. Only last year, Rosie. And uh, Brandon Response. Marshall's going to be there. This, uh, you got some big guests. Yeah, we're going to have uh, tons of Jets, Giants, Knicks, Nets, um, and also the legends. We've got uh, Super Bowl MVP Otis Anderson's going to be the MC, yeah. and uh, one of my good friends, John Stark, legendary New yeah. York Knicks. So, uh, going to be a great time. If you guys want more information on my social media or BigBlueTravel.com for ticket details. Where is Rockin' uh, Riley's? 
That's uh, really close to. That's uh, Mitch Madison Montana. Place. Calm down, everybody. Where we is really it? Really renovated. Oh, it's great. And, uh, there. It's where great. is Rock and Riley's, please? <laughs> it's right by the garden. It's on 35th. You Thank you. You and I went to, to the I opening. Say 218. I yeah, don't remember. 218. <laughs> 218 we weren't even drinking that night. How much do you remember from that <laughs> night? Is that after the Ted Cruz? Uh, yes.